Hello, welcome. Uh, this is a brand new thing for me. I'm trying uh, a new thing. I am going to make a video showing me cutting my hair uh, using Brad Mondo's shag haircut technique. He recently posted a video and then I watched a couple other people try his technique and it seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward, um, and why not? So wish me luck. Uh, I've already showered, I washed my hair, um, take a towel off, and show you what we're working with here. This is what we've got. It's uh, pretty long, a little bit draggled, but we're going to do this. And to do this, we need some tools. Got my comb. Got a couple of ponytail holders, and then I have this scissors kit that I got off of uh, Amazon a long time ago. Never really used it. It comes with two scissors, a comb, and a couple of clips. And if you hear some jingling, that would be my kitty who has to be involved in everything I do. All right. All right, let's get started. So the first step is you have to put your hair up, all of your hair up in a ponytail right on top of your head. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Take my glasses off. Try and get it as smooth as I can. I don't have any products in it. I washed it and conditioned it. I can't put any products in. Alright. Let me tailor it and see how we're doing. I don't want it too far forward. I have seen a technique called the unicorn, where you pull it way up here. I don't want to do that because I don't like how long it leaves the back. I feel like it's really uneven. So we'll just do this. More directly on top of my head. Sorry, it's like really hot. It's 12 o'clock at night and it's still like 83 degrees out. Stupid ridiculous humidity. I'm sure you're all suffering the same. Alright. So I've got the ponytail. I'm going to pull it pretty tight. Check the smoothness. Pretty good, pretty good. And then I'm just going to comb this part a little bit because it got a little twisted up while I was ponying. I do have a few rough spots in the back. Let me try this again. Try my bigger comb. See if I can get a smoother finish with that. Not, as I'm sure you can tell, a professional hairdresser. I have been cutting my hair on my own during the past year, as I'm sure many of you have. And with limited success, I didn't, I let my bangs grow out. And I thought, why not? We'll try this shag. I had a shag back in the 80s. Time for one again. Alright. Tighten that 
that. Okay. All right. So there we go. Right on top of the head. And then Brad said that if you don't want to lose a lot of length, pull a piece out the back so you can tell when you hold your ponytail up, you can tell where to cut so you don't lose a whole lot of length. So I'm going to do that. So all right, we're going to cut right about here and use my scissors. This kit came with a uh, regular pair of shears and then those thinning shears. So we'll see if I need to use those later. All right, here we go. I'm going to cut here. I don't want to lose a lot of length, so straight across. First step. Okay. Show you how much I cut there. Just so much I cut. All right. Then we take that ponytail out. And let it fall. See what we've got going on here. All right. I can see some layers already. Check out the back. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see some more layers than I had. All right, and I didn't lose much length, so that's good. All right, next step. We are going to part it straight up the middle. And I'm gonna smooth a little condition dirt leave-in conditioner into my hair, just to kinda because it's a little snarly because I didn't put any product in it. So I'm just going to do that. All right, and then we're going to give it a good comb. show it to you but all right the next step is to do the face layers and what we're going to do for that according to Brad is we're going to do a little part straight up use this comb just going to go straight up from behind the ear Straight line up, up to the top of the head. Like I said, I'm not a professional hairdresser, right? Rarely bother to even part my hair, I just let it fall naturally. <laughs> it's getting really hot in this bathroom, getting kind of steamy. this hair back with the clips that came in the uh, scissors kit. Okay. And I'm going to take a look at it. Alright, got a little too much hair, I think. Better. 
Oh, I'm not an expert at this. Let me see if I've got... Let's try this, I guess. Much better, much cleaner line. All right, clip this hair back again. Now, next step, I'm gonna take this hair on this side and we're gonna comb it, I think it's called redirecting, over directing maybe, forward and across. And uh, just put this back so I don't accidentally cut the other side while I'm doing this. Because that's something I would do. So I'm just gonna hold that back. Okay. So we're going to over direct the hair. And we're gonna do it in two sections a top section and a bottom section. So it's not too thick and we're not trying to do too much. Over direct it. And we're gonna find the shortest spot. Get a little wet again. And we're gonna cut to that spot. That would be right there. So we're gonna cut it right there. All right. And then we're gonna take the next section, comb that out across. a little bit from the top so I can get the same length. Over direct that. And we're gonna cut it. Okay. So there's that side. So just a little bit left to do that down and now we're gonna part it again on this side same place behind the ear I'm just worried my cat's gonna come he likes to jump up on my back and usually when he does it if I have a sweatshirt on no big deal if I have a t-shirt on yeah big deal oh that went much easier but uh, separating was much easier okay Flip that back out of my way. All right, and clip this down again so I don't accidentally cut that side. And we're gonna direct it over two sections. Up in the bottom. And the shortest spot. Just like it's right there. And we're gonna cut. Okay. And then the bottom section. A little bit from the top so I can get a guide of how long I want it. I'm gonna direct it over and we're gonna cut. Okay. So 
that, that, get these clips out. And you can already see there's shape around the face. Gonna damp, get it damp again. So it lays a little better. I have naturally curly hair that I usually straighten. With, well, I straighten it with a curling iron, kind of. So. Alright, so let's see. We've got some layers going on there. I had kind of let my hair grow out a little too. I was letting the bangs grow out because normally in the before times, um, I worked, I was a restaurant manager, and you have to wear your hair back uh, and up, and uh, the shorter my bangs were, the more they would fall into my face. I couldn't get them away, and it was really irritating, and you know, you're handling food, you can't touch your hair. So I was letting them grow out, but that was the before times, and I'm not doing that now. So, I don't have a problem with cutting my bangs again. All right, so let's go at them a little uneven. I'm gonna, gonna trim that side up a little bit. Okay, kitty. Okay. Don't jump on me. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Okay. Then we're gonna take tiny, tiny triangle, hold my hand down so my cat does not jump up on me. I keep his claws trimmed, but it still can be painful. All right, we're going to do a very shallow triangle here on the top of my head, starting from the part. Hi. Shush. Come that back. A little too far down on that side. Also mostly blind <laughs> without my glasses. So, all right. And for this, We are going to just make it a little shorter. I'm going to do a little kind of a V cut. Just to get it a little shorter right in the very front. All right. So there we go. Myself a better part here. And that's what we've got. Hi, kitty. Hi. This is Wurlitzer. I call him Whirly. He's a talker. All right. I am going to go ahead and pause this video. And I'm going to dry my hair. Maybe I'll style it before I do anything else. But uh, I'm going to dry it and see where we're at.
getting there. Do a little more styling and I'll be back. All right, it's mostly dry. Uh, still no, I put a little mousse in it, but still no real styling products in it. Um, just that conditioner I put in to help detangle it and then a little bit of mousse to give it lift. So my curls are frizzy. Normally I would just let them dry naturally uh, and get, you get much more curl out of it. Um, so that's, I mean, there's definitely a lot of volume to it. I can tell that there's layers. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it because that's how I 90% of the time wear it is straight. Um, and I'll come back for that. Still going. Back in a few. Little by little. All right, well, I had to stop with the trying to straighten it. It's seriously, it's 100% humidity, or dew points off the charts, it's like 79 um, degree dew point. It's horrible. I cannot get my hair dry. I'm, my makeup is melting off. The roots of my hair are so dry, I can't, or so wet, I can't get really any styling done, but this is what I got. This is the shag. I love the layers. Um, do a better job straightening it when it's not 90 degrees in the bathroom at almost 1 o'clock at night. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got. So, sorry, Brad. <laughs> I'll do a, a follow-up, maybe. Show you how I style it. Anyway. Peace.